Hi everyone, and welcome to SIC Forex. I hope everyone is having a successful trading week. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. In this video, we'll analyze live trades taken by the free expert advisor, Dark Venus. On this channel, we've been trading Dark Venus Forex Robot Live for the past two weeks on a FBS Real account. On our MetaTrader platform, you'll see my trading week started on Monday 29th of August at 8 a.m. server time as indicated with the vertical line on the chart. Next, we are going to start reviewing the trades taken by Dark Venus on our updated settings. When you move the cursor over each trade, you'll be able to see more information about that specific trade. For this quick analysis, I have selected the one hour time frame for our chart so that we can see all the dark Venus trades together. For the week, Monday 29th to Thursday the 1st, 2022, Dark Venus was able to close a profit of $20.42. I've made a few changes to Dark Venus set file, including closing all trades on Fridays, because I don't want to be stuck in a trade during the weekend. Holding trades over the weekend can expose you to a high risk. If you are new to the channel and want to learn more about the settings for this trading robot, see the video listed above. On the 15 minute chart, we are now going to compare the trades placed by Dark Venus on default settings versus the updated settings. You'll see the previous week with the default settings, Dark Venus wasn't able to handle large moves in the market without hitting our stop loss percentage. Let's take a closer look at the changes to our settings for Dark Venus. If you want to update your settings for MetaTrader 4, just take a screenshot and copy the settings we are using. My first adjustment was for the max spread. This is going to be different for each broker, so adjust yours accordingly. Secondly, I'm using money management true and risk percentage to one to compound the account. When it comes to balling to band strategy, I'm using sell above and buy below. However, I have changed the Bollinger Band sensitivity and the Bollinger Band price use for the Bollinger Band calculations, which is now the median price. Next, I adjusted the grid settings to change the way Dark Venus responds when the trades are going into the negative. The distance between the trades on the grid is now equal to 2 times the ATR period of 14, which you'll see displayed on the chart with a grid coefficient of 3. Next, I adjusted the win-loss target settings. Take target is 150 points or 15 pits. And take target for the first order is 200. And the stop target is 200. Remember, if you want to change the tape target for the first order, you have to change it to true. Our next adjustment is the average trailing stop settings. Both average trailing stop and only in profit have been set to true. And now we can adjust the average trailing stop value to 100 points and the step value to 50 points. Lastly, I've adjusted the close trade settings so that we don't get stuck in a trade over the weekend, which is high risk. 
back on the 15 minute chart, comparing the two set files again, we can see the difference these settings have made for Dark Venus by simply adjusting the settings. We've profited $20.42. I know that the sample size to compare the two different set files are small, and that is why I'll continue to monitor the set files moving forward in the next few weeks. Very important. Always before testing your expert advisor on a real or demo account, run a strategy tester to backtest your settings. For our backtest, I have changed the custom period to the last year and next we are going to load the settings file that I've been using. By doing this, all the settings we've looked at will now be tested against historic data. We select the set file that we are currently using and now all of the settings have been transferred into our strategy tester. Let's take a look at the graph. We can see that the expert advisor does experience periods of drawdown, periods of stagnation, and periods of growth. Now it is important to look at the amount of drawdown compared to the final result. And this strategy test is being run for the last year as a custom period. Let's take a closer look at the results. Total net profit is 1,560 and 54 cents with a balance drawdown of 12.93% and an equity drawdown of 14.4%. Dark Venus had a 68.62% win rate over the period tested. Next, I'm going to show you how to export and analyze the data from your MetaTrader platform. On the History tab, we are going to select Period. Then we are going to select Report and export and save the file. I'm going to save it on the desktop. It is important to measure the performance of each system or expert advisor that you use. So here we see the trade history report you will see all the transactions from MetaTrader for the period, including positions, orders, and deals. Now we are going to look at the specific trades placed by Darkviewness during the last week, from the period of the 29th of August to the 1st of September. These 12 trades gave us a profit of $21.46 or an average of $1.79 per trade. Once we have separated our week's trades from the rest of the history, we can now move forward to our win-loss analysis for the week. To determine the win-loss ratio, we are going to add a column for each trade. Now, the win-loss ratio is the ratio of the total number of winning trades to the number of losing trades. It does not take into account how much was won or lost, but simply if they were winners or losers. Next, we are going to analyze our grid trades in two different ways. 
firstly as single trades and then as a grid. If you see each grid trade as an individual trade, these would have lost because it would have hit our stop loss. And that is because the trade was in negative and Dark Venus opened another one. We can do an analysis for Dark Venus only trading single sets using this simplified technique. So to determine the win rate of Dark Venus using these as individual trades without using the grid settings, we are going to divide the total number of wins for by the total number of trades, which is 9. For this example, Dark Venus had a win rate of 44%. Remember, this analysis is for a small number of trades. However, moving forward, this analysis will provide a clearer understanding of how to trade Dark Venus profitably. In our second analysis, we are going to analyze the win rate of Dark Venus using the grid settings. You'll see that both grid trades ended in a profit. The first grid trade ended with a profit of $6.16, and our second grid trade ended with $14.20 in profit. To determine the win rate of Dark Venus using the grid settings, we are going to divide the total number of wins, 6, by the total number of trades, which is 9. For the grid trading example, Dark Venus had a win rate of 66.67%. What we've learned from these few trades is that our risk to reward ratio needs to be for Dark Venus to be profitable. If you look at our risk to reward table from our previous videos, you'll see what we need to be minimum for break even. I have set up everything on my VPS and Dark Venus is currently running. So make sure to join us next time when we take a closer look at using a different strategy for Dark Venus as a nighttime scalper. If you haven't already, feel free to like the video and subscribe for more content. I hope you have a great trading week and I'll see you next time. Bye.